Hey everyone, Carl here, Muskegon EV guy. So my daughter brought home her 2015 Volt from college and daddy gets to do some maintenance. So one of the things about a plug-in hybrid is of course it has a combustion engine and along with all the trappings. So I looked at the air filter and found that there was a mouse nest in there. So I figured I'd just make a short video about how to change out the air filter on a 2015 Volt. Let's check it out. First thing we need to do is pop the hood. So the hood release is on the driver's side underneath the dashboard. So we'll pop that open and then go look at it from the front. Once you pop the hood from the inside, you do still have to release it. There's a safety mechanism so it doesn't fly open in case you accidentally do the hood release while you're driving. So there's a little latch. It's kind of hard to see, but it's just left of center of the bow tie. So if you lift it up a little bit, and then this little latch here, push it to the right, releases the hood. So at this point the hood needs to be propped up to stay up. There's a little built-in stick right here. You just pull up on that, insert it into the little latch, and then we can work up. The air filter compartment is right over here. So the first thing we do is release these little clips. There are two of them, one on the left, one on the front, and they just pop up. Should be fairly easy. You have to make sure they both stay up. And the next thing is you got to make sure that there are little catches in the back here, here, and here that you don't break those off. So you have to pivot from the front and so that the whole housing comes off. Now it's going to stay connected right here on the air intake and on this, uh, what I assume to be a mass airflow sensor. So that all needs to stay attached, but you can just move it out of the way. So here it goes, we're just lifting it up, pull it a little forward so those hatch catches in the back come off, move it off to the side, and there's our filter. Notice the way that it's put in, it looks square, but it's actually slightly rectangular, so it'll only go in one way. So at this point, you can just pull it out, not much to it, and what you're looking for here is whether there's some lots of debris and dirt so if you flex it just a little bit you can see this one is pretty dirty and again when I opened it up for the first time there was actually a mouse nest right in the bottom there so there's also a drain a water drain and again rodents or other animals can come in this pipe here the intake and build something in there and obviously you don't want that in there so check it all out brush it out blow it out whatever you need to do and then we'll put the new filter in. So here's the filter I picked up. Um, I just picked up a generic one, looked at some ratings. Looks like here are the equivalents, the Fram, F1 Auto, Pennzoil, I guess it doesn't have that one. But if you look for the right vintage of the Volt, just make sure it's the Generation 1 Volt, which for this, 2015. So the new one should look similar. So it's got the rubberized area all around it. So. Looks the same. Looks like we got the right one. Again, this one's pretty dirty. So we'll throw that one away. So we'll put it in the same way. And again, if you try to put it in the wrong way, it won't fit. So you have to make sure you put it in the correct way. And that's really all there is to it. Now again, these little tabs here, tabs in the back, have to go into these slots here before you bring it down to the front. So make sure you don't force it. It's all plastic. Particularly now it's a cold time of year, uh, you don't want to snap those off. Now since it is a new filter, it is going to be a little bit snug. So we got to get these two tabs aligned first. So kind of get underneath there, shove it from the front, and then we put in these two clips. Got to be careful that these clips don't swing underneath as you're putting it down. You got to keep them down, got to keep them up. Move this to the back here those two tabs both of those tabs have to slip in make sure it's firmly seated and then we can work on the clips so at this point you just have to push down on it make sure it's seated pretty well again it is going to be snug because it's a brand new filter and then push on it and get it to latch black and this one the same and that's it. So if you have trouble 
getting the old one out. This is just a clip here. If you need to, you can always pry it open, get underneath it. Okay, just be careful that you're not snapping off a piece of plastic. And that's all there is to it. Well, I hope that was helpful. See you next time.